family to family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I go by the nickname Ginger. We start off with a hug because more and more we need our hugs. So come on. How are you guys doing today? We got a lot of information. It's not cute not knowing. We're going to start off with Tom Joyner, the legendary DJ. He opened up to Black America Web and the Ricky Smiley Morning Show about a stroke that he suffered back in May. I have put it out to the universe. I have reached out to his people that I really want to have a conversation with him. I'm a stroke survivor. Five years ago, I had mine. His story was similar to mine. He did admit that it was only three weeks ago that he got comfortable with walking. And I'm sure that he needs, you know, that he still needs assistance. I could tell it affected his speech some because some things he went to say and it was it was just it was just a little difficult but speech was relatively good. He said he was in disbelief and he was like he was boxing. He said when it happened, couldn't believe what happened. But he is so appreciative for those who helped him. He talked about rehab. Rehab ain't no joke. I be telling people. I said now. You may feel that you don't, you don't want to do everything that the therapists are, are putting you through, but you got to think at the end of the day, I want my life back. I want my life back. I want my life back. Learning how to walk. Our journey was just so similar, and I would just love to talk with him to not only encourage him, but to let him know this is not over. I was heartbroken when his show ended because it was kind of like Tom Joyner was pushed out the door. Just because you turn a certain age doesn't mean that it has to end. And he's just one of the greatest DJs ever. I want to tell him how you keep your voice out there with podcasts and just different things like that. You don't let other people decide that your story um, is finished being told. So I, I really hope, and I'm putting it out to the universe and Mr. Joyner, I, I hope that the message gets to you, you know, your people, it gets to you, but I would really love to have a conversation with you about that and just staying strong and that this will not define you. And this is not the end. One of the members of the Rude Boys died. The Rude Boys, remember 1990? They were discovered by Gerald Overt. They came out of Cleveland, Ohio. They had the hit song written all over your face. Our condolences go out to the family of Edward Buddy Banks. He passed away. Rude Boys, it was four of them. And back in 2016, Larry Marcus died. So now there are only two surviving members of the Rude Boys, but our condolences go out to Edward Buddy Banks of the Rude Boys, who passed away. Taraji P. Henson has signed on for a new movie that she is not only starring in, but she is directing. Yes, the movie Two Phase. In this movie, Taraji plays the mother of a high school senior who's having problems getting into college because of a racist high school principal who everyone thinks is fabulous and nice and the daughter and Taraji expose him. But that's her first movie. Time Magazine, that she's directing. Time Magazine has named LeBron James Athlete of the Year. I'm, I'm sure tomorrow I'll be telling you who the person of the year is. It'll either be Joe Biden, President-elect, Dr. Anthony Fauci, or George Floyd. How shocking was it to witness this man's death because he didn't have to die. And I think with the social unrest and things that happened this year, it was kind of like a, wow, that really happened. And we really saw it. I'm sure we'll be announcing who that person of the year is, but athlete of the year is the one and only LeBron James. Godfather of Harlem. Any fans out there? Bumpy Johnson is back. Lawrence, uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Good goodness. You know, it's my brain. It's just my brain just getting tired. Godfather of Harlem, Forrest Whitaker, the Oscar winner. It's really a great um, show. It's been renewed for a second season on the Epics channel. E-P-I-X. Bumpy Johnson is back. Forrest Whitaker, it's going to start streaming 
next year, next April. Lizzo is going through a little down period. You know, she's known for her positivity. She is known for her twerking. She is known for not liking to wear a lot of clothes. Well, Lizzo recently went on social media to talk about she's not really feeling good about herself. Either she's reading the negative comments because, you know, people want to fat shame you and stuff like that. Or maybe she's just coming to reckoning that maybe she just needs to lose a little weight for health purposes. I know a lot of people say, well, you can be big and be healthy. But when you think about when you want to be a mom, when you think about wanting to do things, I just think you get to a certain point, it's not healthy to carry as much weight as you may be carrying. Or you realize when you get older, you can't do the things that you used to do. You got to incorporate the greens. You got to drink more water. Heck, when you reach a certain age, that doggone acid reflux starts and it's, it's just like different things are happening. I hope she gets through this period. And I also hope, because I know she was trying a vegan diet and, and it's hard when, when you love to eat and you are a foodie. But I'm hoping that she can team up with someone who can help her not only accept how she is now, but that if it's losing weight, if that's what she wants to do and still be happy, that you can do it through diet and exercise. Because as you get older, especially women, you want to have children, the pregnancy already adds weight on you. So Lizzo, you can do this. We have good days and bad days. And I, I think we all go through, I don't feel pretty today. We go through it. It can, it can happen. Um, but uh, go, you're going to go through this. And I think you're going to be paired and find somebody that can really help you through this journey of getting to where you want to be. Lizzo. Big congratulations to Cassie. She's pregnant again. Baby number two with her husband, Alex. Fine. Cassie is the perfect example of getting out of a horrific situation that she was in with Puffy and moving on to happiness. You cannot let somebody dictate your life. You cannot let a person get in the way of your happiness. So often with young women, don't be letting nobody use up your good years, use up your eggs. I'm sounding like somebody's auntie right now. <laughs> use up your eggs. I know, I know. But you don't, you don't let them do that. You don't let them use up your good years. And you don't stick around because abuse, whether it's mental or physical, it's not love. Hold out for love. Have somebody who is going to love you, not emotionally put you down, verbally put you down, have you hanging on a string, they're out here professing their love for somebody else, meanwhile you there holding it down. I think the best thing that she did was get out of that relationship with Puffy. She moved on, she's got married, two kids, she's pregnant again. Christina Milian, baby number three, this is baby day y'all. Uh, Christina Milian is having baby number three, her second with her boyfriend. Tiffany Haddish got a well-deserved apology. The Grammy committee wanted her to host the Grammy pre-show and host it. And they told her, we want you to host it, but we don't have no money. And don't you dare ask us for no money and yada, yada, yada. Well, Tiffany went public and says, no, I'm not gonna do it. You're, you're, I gotta pay for my own expenses. You want me to host it, but the president of the Grammy uh, Recording Academy, they called and they gave her an apology saying that's not how we do business. And I know that person who did that. I know they got in trouble. I know they got in trouble. You know, there are instances where people think they're more important than they are. Look at what happened to Shonda Rhimes when she was at ABC. They, she wanted passes for Disneyland. And they were like, ain't you getting paid enough? Who was that person with that audacity? That's one thing about 2020. The audacity of it. They just think that they can just talk to you anyway. Tiffany Haddish got an apology. So that's a good thing there. The Grammy Awards are January 31st. And Trevor Noah of The Daily Show. 
he is going to be your host. But that is music's biggest night. It's going to be a good night. They're just going to watch out. You always got to watch those people who think that they're much more important than they already are. I do a podcast, Patty and the Millennials. I'm the baby boomer. It's conversation for everyone. I'm surrounded by millennials and Gen X, men and women. We talk about a lot of things. And in our latest podcast, I ask the question, what has 2020 taught you? Have you learned patience? Have you learned that relationships can change and they can, how you had to learn how to pivot with work or your family or what you got to do, dealing with maybe isolation, things are different. I miss going to dinner with my friends. <laughs> I think that's like one of the ultimate things that I love to do. I, I miss that. I miss the camaraderie. I think this is the, you know, for, for you guys who like, you make my day, y'all be making my day because I need this outlet to let people know what's going on. But this year has taught me, I had to learn how to work, work by myself. And I miss, I miss having a crow. What has 2020 taught you? I want you to check us out. We're on Spotify. We're on iHeartRadio app. Number one for podcasts, Apple Podcasts. And of course, SoundCloud. Check us out. It is a great conversation. Tomorrow, we head into the weekend. I do a real fancy weekend edition. LaShawna Simon, she puts it together. So look out for that and check it out. But we are heading into a weekend. Dionne Warwick celebrating a big birthday. You got verses with Ashanti, Keisha Cole. I, can, I am so excited about this verses and what these ladies are are going to bring to the table. Because to me, no one ever loses the verses. You're a winner just for showing up. Thanks for joining me. Um, I love the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Auntie be reading these comments out here and, I, and I've caught up. So leave your comments. I would love to hear from you. It's okay to agree to disagree. We're not always going to agree but leave your comments down below i'd love to hear from you and more importantly spread the word because the channel is growing and i think there's going to be some great things in 2021 have a good one everybody and thanks so much for joining me i'm patty jackson i'm your auntie of pop culture